and we are back for another episode of Born to Talk About Sports. I am your host, Steve Bourne. My original plan for today was I was going to talk about what's going on in the NBA with um, most improved team or most surprising team, most disappointing, what I expect to see in the, uh, I don't want to say the second half because we're already past the All-Star break and the, and the trade deadline, but more the stretch run to the playoffs. But uh, something has ca caught up to me, and it's I've noticed it more and more. And as a sports fan, this is driving me absolutely insane. And that's the idea of officials trying to game management. Um, you see it in, in uh, the NBA. You see it especially in the NHL. You see it a little bit in the NFL, but mostly I, I've noticed it in the NHL. And a little bit in the uh, in uh, the NBA, and it's the officials who are basically trying to make the penalties even for both sides. And as someone who I honestly, uh, obviously, I never worked um, the uh, well the the pros or anything like that, but I've done minor league, well, not minor league, but uh, youth baseball. I did it in Newmarket. Anyone knows me for almost twenty years, um, probably close, actually closer to fifteen. But the idea of trying to almost look for certain calls or ignore the obvious stuff just drives me absolutely insane because you're actually putting a more of an influence on the game by not doing anything. Case in point, um, Saturday night, Toronto-St. Louis, three th games 3-3 three, three in the third period. Both teams only have one power play each. Both teams went 0-for-1 on the power play. The Leafs actually got nailed on an obvious too many men call early in the first. No problems with it. It was obvious to make the call. St. Louis had, including the goalie, for a brief moment with the puck, eight skaters on the ice. Since it's 1-1 power plays, tie game in the third, referees didn't want to influence the game, so they left it alone. Sure enough, St. Louis comes back uh, with the puck. Leafs don't touch it again until the faceoff after the puck is in the back of their net. And in a 4-3 game in the third, that changes completely everything. St. Louis adds one more because the Leafs defense was trying to pinch, trying to tie it on a goal that should never have counted in the first place. St. Louis adds an empty netter, wins 6-3. I'm not just saying bitching and moaning because I'm a Leafs fan. I'm complaining because that's the referees influencing a game by thinking everything's even, we're done. And... That's not the way it should be. Officials should be there to call the obvious stuff. If it's a chintzy, chintzy hook or hold, that's one thing. I get it. Or if it's marginal because maybe your the players blocked you out. I understand the game's fast. Um, but what I'm just saying, though, is a penalty in the first minute of the game should be a penalty in the last minute of the game or in overtime. None of this, oh, it's playoff. Uh, they're playing playoff-style hockey, so we're going to leave things alone. First of all, it's February. Don't give me the excuse. Playoff hockey. Second, if this, if too many men call, call it. That's not one of those chintzy hooks or holds or marginal penalties. It's an obvious one. It's like if a player shot the puck over the glass. But everything's even, so we're not going to call it. That's a lot of crap, and everybody knows it. The, I want to, uh, and you see it in the NBA all the time too. Um, foul uh, referee basically are, are almost looking for hand checking fouls or blocking fouls and stuff like that because the free throw advantage for one team is say like twenty three to ten or something like that. So you're looking to almost even it up to get the coaches off your back. Or you see it in Major League Baseball all the time where. Um, the strike zone, uh, or not so much strike zone, but say a call at first, the umpire you can tell probably blew, uh, blew the play, and if uh, a challenge is unsuccessful, they're going to try to look into even it up the other side. This is definitely before instant replay. You saw makeup calls at first and second all the time. If you, if, if you were actually just, you know, uh, paying attention, looking for certain, certain little things like that. Um, as an umpire, I know uh, sometimes I gotten to that hole too where if you think you blew a call you're going to try to make it up for the other side and really depending on this game situation i can see certain things trying to even up but don't don't let the obvious stuff go and i think that's where my complaining is i guess you would say complaining bitching whatever is that 
Now, I'm sick and tired of officials letting obvious stuff go because it would strike an unbalance. And that's... And I just don't understand it. I, I, I don't understand why the um, referees think they can, they're the ones uh, who can who will influence a game. And I'm not saying call everything, not by any means. I understand, especially in uh, play in the playoffs after game 83, not game 62 in February. I understand a lot of little interferences, hookings, holdings. I get that. Playoffs aren't meant to be physical. I'm, but I'm not saying throw away the rule book altogether. Call the obvious stuff. If a player gets his stick between the legs and the, and the guy falls ass over tea kettle, call it. If a team has too many men on the ice, regardless of the situation of the game, call it. In the NBA, if uh, I don't care if the free throw advantage is 23-10. If a guy comes down the other way, barrels through a defender, it's a charging it's a charging foul. In Major League Baseball, if uh, if a team is down uh, ten nothing and the uh, and the pitcher can't find the strike zone, start calling balls. I don't care. Still call balls. If it, I don't care if it's a ball and a half off the plate or half a ball off the plate. It's not close enough to be a strike. It's either in the strike zone or it's not. It's a little too obvious. In the NFL, call holding when you when it is. I don't care if it's a running back like Travis Henry who just runs something for 70 yards for a touchdown. If there was two or three holds on the uh, at the line of scrimmage that helped him get open, throw the damn flag. And I think this is where, uh, again, I'm going back to my main point, is officials need to be held accountable. If they're going to call us, make a call, or not, the biggest one is, I. first of all, I also don't like the term non-call or, or a missed call. They refuse to call certain things, and it's painfully obvious. Like when you see uh, in, the, uh, in the NHL, when you see players get high-sticked right in front of the refs, uh, but it's a close game. Blow the damn whistle. Uh, I'm, I know I'm going on a rant here just because of what happened in a Leaf game, and everyone knows I am a huge Leaf fan, but this is something that's been building up for a while. I saw it in, the brutal was last year's, uh, the 2021 NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, where, um, like him or not, but with Nikita Kucherov got cross-checked right across his back and actually broke a couple of ribs. The re referee was looking right at it, refused to call it because it's playoff hockey. Um, I'm sorry, when did the NHL or any sport really, because you see it in the NBA too, where it, it gets a lot more physical too, where the little back elbows and little push-offs aren't called. And it's, I, I want to know if there's a specific thing where there's a separate rule book for play, playoffs and regular season. If not, call it the exact same. Call it the obvious stuff. The marginal stuff, I think fans can, then, for the most part, uh, let go either way. But, in say, in in the NFL, if it's a holding in week one between the Jets and the Jaguars, it's a holding in the Super Bowl. Uh, if it's, a, if it's a, a slashing penalty across the ankles between, say, Columbus and Montreal, it's a, it's a, it's a slash... Uh, in the Stanley Cup final, I think that's I think that's the only way to go about it. And but I am I know that no uh, unless this takes off virally, I don't think anybody in the NHL or any sport will see this. But these officials do need to help be held accountable. It's no it shouldn't be a free ride. Well, I made it to the show. I'm good. I don't have to try anymore. I'm just gonna half-ass my way. These officials, there's. With the money on the line through websites like FanDuel and DraftKings and stuff like that, the officials are actually now causing people to lose money that they probably shouldn't. And maybe somebody, if they get, if the official makes a, um, a terrible call and it costs them thousands, tens of thousands of money, if you're for, if you're a high roller, maybe sue the referee. It was his, 
he cost you the money, not directly, but indirectly, he cost you the money. And uh, yeah, th I think that's where I'm going with this is these officials, because for game management, they, they're not held accountable. The only reason Tim Peel got fired last year in the NHL is because he had a hot mic. And he actually said, well, I'm just looking to call uh, something against, I think it was Nashville, um, to, to even up the calls. And then next time, uh, I, was, what, I can't remember who it was, uh, I saw the referee actually he was talking to a team and covering up the mic. To me, that official should be suspended right then and there because he basically did the same thing Tim Peel did. He's, he just tried not to get caught. Yeah, so that's that's my rant about officiating in sports is get rid of the game management, call the obvious stuff, whether it's the first minute of the game, last minute of the game, beginning of the regular season, or the championship, whether it's Super Bowl, World Series, NBA Finals, Stanley Cup Final, yada yada. And uh, again, I'm not bitching this is because of because uh, I'm a Leafs fan, and I'm just using what happened on Saturday night. Is I think that was a bit of a tipping off for me. Uh if anyone watched the Stanley Cup playoffs last last year, everyone uh, there was a ton of complaints from every from every fan that the referees just let way too much go, and players were starting to get injured because if they figured oh the players were took an inch and turned it into a mile, and I I personally think that uh, for player safety you need to start calling the obvious stuff. If not money, uh, the money that gets involved will be going to lawyers instead of casinos. Thanks for listening to my rant. Um, I will be doing something later this week uh, on the NBA and where I think it's going to head down to the, what's going to head down to the stretch and what we've seen so far. So like this, so please subscribe to my network uh, to born to talk about sports. Use the hashtag that should be over here, born sports. And until then, um, be safe and uh, be kind.